smear it as kind of a question whether it would be something I was interested in. And I've always wanted to learn how to drive when I'm old enough to drive on the road. Um, so as soon as he asked me it as a question, I was like, you don't have to ask that as a question, because it was something that I would be 100% interested in doing. So it came well, from that. It's, it's, I mean, it's quite a dangerous sport. <laughs> and I feel that you've already had some big challenges in your life. Why do you want to put yourself out there again for something like this? I think I'm probably, I guess you could say I'm an adrenaline junkie, you know, with the trampoline in. Um, but I'm not scared of it going <laughs> fast. I know my mum definitely is. Is she? She will yeah. be it. Yeah, you can't mention any of the speeds to her. But, but good I'm for cool you. So, you know, it seems like you're determined not to let your disability stop you doing whatever you want to do. You know, you're going to be doing more things than many other people do, aren't you? Yeah, I don't. I would say I don't really class myself as having a disability because I don't let it stop me do anything. So I don't really like class myself as being disabled at all. Dave, what are your thoughts? Well, the first time we saw um, Izzy's video, the first thing I thought was, I want to teach that girl how to drive. That was when she was trampolining, yeah. of course, yes. And you could see that, the, that massive energy, that bundle of energy, that positive spirit, that, and that wonderful attitude. Um, and it's, it's only something you're born with. I don't think it's something you can trade into people. And uh, so I thought, well, Better ring up a dad and see if we can ask Izzy if he wants to learn how to, dra learn how to drive a race car. So that, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, Ollie, how did you yeah. react then when Dave rings up and says, do you know what, I want to teach your daughter how to drive a racing car? Well, I knew she'd be up for the challenge, really. She just enjoys a bit of danger, I think, in her life. She always has done. And so uh, we knew she wanted to drive, so I thought I'd put the two and two together. But I thought I'd better ask the question just in case, but I, I guess the answer. But when you have <coughs> had such a frankly terrifying time, albeit now seven years ago, thankfully, uh, with Izzy, it, is it, mo a lot of parents would be like, my goodness, I want to get a huge bundle of cotton wool <laughs> and wrap my precious daughter up in it. How have you managed to overcome that and let her do these things? I think it's just the way she wants to do all these things and prove that this, the disability isn't really a disability. It's, pri it's she's mm. priding herself on and making us proud of the way she's finding ways to do everything and try and make her life as normal as possible or try and s prove that she can do things in a, in a normal way as much as possible. And I think driving's the, the next step to that and certainly, you know, if she can take it into motor racing, then Thank fantastic. Good for you. And, and the Dave, next step, oh, I was just going to say, is yeah. to get this simulator, isn't it? So you're yeah. saving up the money to get a simulator and then you can start to learn to drive at home. Is that what happens? Yeah, we were crowdfunding for it and we managed to raise the amount we needed in about a week. Brilliant. It's incredible. Um, so that's all on order now. So you'll be able to start soon in that case? Yeah. Excellent. And for you, the charity uh, Team Brit helps disabled people get involved with motorsport. Why do you think that's important? Is it partly what Liz is doing here, which is showing people every day just by living our life so positively that anything is possible? Or is it also that actually driving is very important for disabled people to have access to, is it? Well, t t first of all, Team Brit is not a charity. We're a normal race team. Um, and all, all our drivers have different disabilities. And our, our long-term aim is to be the first all-disabled team to race in the Le Mans 24-hour. So we, 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 we've got a long journey ahead of us, but we had to design the, the world's most advanced race, race hand controls, and that's all fitted to the car. So each driver has a different way of, of, of where they want all the controls. Uh, so we can use that technology uh, to help uh, people like Izzy uh, mm. to also push, put, uh, discover new limits, so push new 